Ethereum hard fork is successful one day before the hacker can take the loot. This Juan Galt with Coin Olympics, and um, it's they celebrate in a way. A major hack was deleted uh, from the Ethereum blockchain by a fairly um, cohesive um, move by the, Ethe the Ethereum community. There's been plenty of controversy, and there's no, perhaps, no way that um, a fork like this or a decision like this can be made at a hundred percent consensus, given uh, just based on the on the data from this fork alone. But um, at the end of the day, things seem to have moved forward fairly well. Uh, there's been some complaints from some um, exchange uh, CEOs or, or people in the exchanges saying that there wasn't enough support uh, for the exchanges. And there's certainly probably lots to learn from this um, move by Ethereum. But at the end of the day, it seems that everything is working fine, as confirmed by Vitalik Buterin on the official Ethereum blog. Um, all, all funds stored on the DAO contract, the Dark DAO and the White Hack DAO have been transferred to a withdraw DAO contract where DAO token holders can retrieve their Ethereum and um, you know move on with um, with their lives and investments, right? I think um, everybody's kind of ready to, to let this behind and uh, perhaps a little bit gleeful that uh, the hacker did not get the loot. One of the most interesting thing about this whole process um, for myself, and I think that one of the things that will be learned or, or can be sort of extracted from this is that, again, 85% of the miners supported the hard fork before the fork took place, and 83% of those who voted, voted in the carbon vote um, stakeholders voting contract. It's basically a, st uh, a proof of stake voting contract where people vote based on how much Ethereum they, they hold. 83% of them voted to hard fork and probably not all Ethereum voters, Ethereum holders voted, but those that did um, showed this pattern of 83% showing that the 80-20 principle actually applies to uh, public blockchain governance. So it was very interesting how they, they the process went down. Um, carbon vote happened around the same time. Um, well, actually, after the major wallet client developers published a um, hard fork uh, version for people to decide how to proceed, and um, and at the end, uh, nearing last two days, nice last few days, anyways, the miners uh, opted towards hard forking at 85 percent. So everything seems to be fine, um, and I think we can we can definitely move on from this. Um, no problems have, seem to have been reported by the exchanges. So so far so good. All that said, if Vitalik himself has said that in the future this kind of behavior will be very unlikely, given that well, presumably because Ethereum is young enough that this can be done, but in the future as the network grows and as institutional investors uh, get into the game, it will be a lot more difficult to get this kind of consensus. So this is definitely a lucky um, event for Ethereum. It could have been a lot worse. There could have been, so far there's been no major lawsuits or, or, or noticeable lawsuits and um, the only or the party that was most affected was the hacker who did not deserve the funds um, and probably made some money on you know shorting Ethereum as the price crashed from $22 roughly. So it seems that things are positive right now. This happened about five hours um, into uh, July 20th. One thing that will likely come from this is a revaluation of, of Ethereum's sort of ideals, right? The DAO claimed to to want to pursue a iron-fisted uh, rule based on code, and uh, and it the the hard immutability of code, and well, that immutability has been uh, proven not that immutable and not that smart as far as contracts go. 
So there's certainly plenty to be learned, and I think we all get that. Thank you for watching, and uh, let me know if there's anything. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Would you? Did you support the hard fork? Did you think that it was a bad idea? Uh, what do you make of the way that this governance decision was made? Uh, you know, it's very interesting. It seems that there was great ways in which um, everything was decided. So let me know in the comments below, and you have an awesome day.